got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Now we're back. <sighs> Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Nope. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Um... Nathan is... dead? Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! God damn it, Chloe, Chloe you- knows I have this power. She has to believe me now. You stubborn little... I Excuse love you, me. Chloe. I'm going to that party to make sure... Um... Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because... I was there. You please tell me exactly what happened. Please. Hmm... So we did... Jefferson killed him. Oh, Jefferson... Jefferson hurt me? Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. Right. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Um... I fucked up? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Back in time. I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You are completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... It must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's that's 
why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. David saved me? Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. So we never went down there. Chloe never got shot. We ended up telling David. David and the police raided the place. The storm. Destruction of the storm didn't happen. Where are we? Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. And the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. And it's coming closer. Ugh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. That's insane. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Rex. Whoa! Who? Oh. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I I'm back in class. What the hell? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory, 
I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? It's the very beginning. Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as Wait, oh. what's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, Fucking I can find any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have um, I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I think we fucked something up. Blood? I'm sorry, Kate. Too creepy. Okay, let's um try to get out of here, I guess. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. You weren't there a minute ago. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Uh, what? Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. My selfies are shit. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Thanks for killing Chloe. What the f- My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. This is so creepy. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Dude. What the fuck is going on? Rachel didn't deserve any of this. What the hell is going on? Kate? Lighting your own candles? Um. Okay. Hey, Kate. Max. How could you let me jump off a roof? You were the only person I trusted here. But you never really listened to me. Now I'm never going to heaven. Instead, you've stuck me in hell. Alone forever. No! Kate! I was only trying to save you. Oh my goodness, come on, game. We're back in the hall. Okay. Back in the hall. Okay. Come on now. Oh, key? 218. Maybe that gets me out of here? 219. 218. No. Oh. Now what? 
Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and he moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Hmm. So Alright, so I'm changing outfits, and I think that depends. It has to do with something. With every door? I don't know what I'm saying. Rachel Amber? I am wearing her clothes. There we go. Victoria Chase. Um, let's try her room. What was it? Two twenty one. Let's try her room. You might as well choose your thing. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favorites. We're back with Max Caulfield. Um... Whoa! Fucking giant squirrels? This one is for Samuel. That actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> um... Look at me, I am Max Selfie. Everything's going backwards? There's a little bit of a scheme in the CFM world shops. We're having a max series, you know. Dude, what the fuck is going on? The music played. Um, everything is backwards. Okay. I'm not even going to bother. Everything is. restroom. Dude, I'm telling you, I think I'm going to have to let Chloe die. 